it's so lovely to see you. Oh, it's lovely to it be really here. It really is. As it's soon as great. anybody says I'm bearing all, I go a little bit red <laughs> and think, what am I doing? No, but it's all right. It's, it's good. Brilliant. And you've embraced it. But it's so wittily done as well. The photo shoot is so amazing. And it is an iconic story, and it's 20 years this year. Wow. And we had uh, Trisha, who was one of the original Yay. calendar girls. It's so extraordinary when you think, and, and now, yes, I'm in my 70s, and I've never been so busy. And I think... The whole yeah. calendar girls thing buys into all of that. Mm. It's, it's women who haven't got perfect bodies. Some have, a lot of us haven't, mm -hmm. who are doing something extraordinary. It was, a, it was a bunch of ordinary women who did something absolutely extraordinary and we're celebrating that. And we're still celebrating it all those years later. Yeah, we are. It's a very emotional piece and people mm. say they laugh and they cry and they literally are going from one to the other all the way through because everybody has a rather emotive story to yeah. tell. And, of course, it's about somebody who died of cancer. And I think everybody who comes knows somebody or has suffered themselves. Of course. So they go through a journey. And I think seeing Calendar Girls, it lets them release all that. And then at the end, you get a 20-minute shoot with women taking their clothes off, very wittily, I may add. <laughs> you're going to be doing this up until the, the summer and then you're yeah. bouncing back into Annie. Yeah, which and I you're love. you're renowned, of course, for musical theatre and for comedy with birds. Yeah. 30 years, that's amazing, isn't and then, it? And right at the beginning, I did Chekhov, I did Shakespeare. Yeah, you've done all that. Everything was quite dark. I've done Neil Simon, which is a dark comedy, mm. The Gingerbread Lady. And then somehow musicals came along. So I've done half musicals all my life. Yeah. I call... Young Frankenstein, a sort of mixture of the two, because it was funny, but it was also very embedded in wonderful Mel Brooks humour, and some of it's quite dark humour. <laughs> yeah. Who knew I, I worked with Mel Brooks for two and a half months? I know, months, it's brilliant. Which was amazing. Um, but I would love now to get back into doing something quite mm. serious and feel... I'm, but I never know what's around the corner, and that's something I find absolutely wonderful. You know, tomorrow I could be doing a movie, I could be doing a West End thing, I could be taking my clothes off in Calendar Girls. <laughs> um, I could be... Anything can happen. That's a great attitude. I love the attitude you've got, and, and it's your curiosity. I think yeah. that keeps us young, doesn't it? I think it does. Yeah. And I walk everywhere. Yeah. I, I love walking, I do yoga, and I think the, the clue to growing old disgracefully <laughs> is keep this going and yeah. keep these going. All the time. Exercise. Your mum was over 100, wasn't she? Oh, she was nearly 104. Wow. And uh, she played tennis in her 90s. Amazing. She line danced, you know, at about 98. Incredible. She was incredible and she was an inspiration. You'll be exactly the same. Hope It'll be so. exactly the same, Leslie. <laughs> a joy to see you. Good luck with Calendar Thank Girls. You. It's tonight in Birmingham, isn't it? Birmingham, then Glasgow, Nottingham, and then Bristol. All over the place. All over. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great to see you. It Thank really is. You.